folks, I'm back with another snuff video. It's been a while since I made any videos, but more on that later. My last video was on the passing of the PACT Act. It is now law and going into effect in a couple months. And I got a, several emails about this video and some people were saying it's only going to affect cigarettes and roll your own. Other people agreed with me, other people didn't know they were going to check into it. And uh, I did just a little bit of research on my own. And um, I wanted to uh, just get to the end of this article that I found. <laughs> and you know, everyone's touting this as a big victory for the children. And everyone always uses the children as their, the reason they're, they're uh, fascists. And um, you know, uh, it's bullshit. So we all know that. But what the end of this article says after it goes on and on and on about the children, the children, and don't get me wrong, I love kids, but you know, bullshit is bullshit. Um, it says, uh, the PACT Act also closes gaps in current federal laws regulating remote or delivery sales of cigarettes and smokeless tobacco products. Sounds like snuff tobacco to me. Smell, sounds like chew, dip, snus. Sounds like all that stuff. So, uh, and you know how these things go. You know how these laws go. The, uh, at first it's a toe in the door, then it's a foot in the door. Next thing you know, there's a gorilla in your living room stomping on your fucking face. And I don't see the anti-tobacco fascists slowing down or becoming more tolerant or reversing or any of that anytime soon. And uh, just you wait and see if pipe tobacco and cigars don't make it on that list before long. Uh, so, um, that's that. Uh, excuse me, I've, I've had way too much snuff this afternoon. My nose is running, but it's, it's fun. Uh, anyway, so that's the update on that as far as I can tell. Um, the, uh, the other day I made a snuff order. I got some tad. Or maybe I'll call it sad. You know, snuff acquisitional disorder effect. Sad. Uh, so I had some and I got some, and I'm about to share it with you. Uh, the snuff that I just took, the snuff that I just sniffed, rather, gentlemen, was Bordeaux. 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 Uh, fantastic snuff. Freiburg Trayer, you know the tin. Um, if you haven't had Freiburg, uh, Bordeaux, this is easily the best snuff I've ever had. It is amazing. Amazing. Very, very complex aroma. Lasts so long. I can take a pinch of this and an hour later, I'm still smelling Bordeaux. And, uh, you know, it's funny because it'll last a good hour, but, you know, I take a pinch, ten minutes later I take another pinch. So, what are you gonna do? Highly, highly, highly recommended Bordeaux. The, the aroma ingredients are something like violets, geranium, bourbon, lemon, may blossom, and tonkin essence and musk. Um, but, uh, you know, that's just a bunch of ingredients. When you smell it, it's like, you know, Old Paris by Freiburg Trier is like a very musty, dusty, sort of antique store, old furniture smell. But Bordeaux is also old world smell, but it smells more like a room full of naked ladies. And who doesn't want to put that up their nose? I mean, come on. It's just fantastic. Enough on Bordeaux. I got another Tom Buck, one of my favorite snuffs by Wilsons of Charles. Another Wilsons of Charles, Strasbourg. Uh, I haven't tried that one yet. Another Wilsons, Irish High Toast, number 22. Supposed to be comparable to Freiburg Trier's High Dry Toast. Uh, these, this seems to be one of the most popular. Very fine powder, very uh, strong uh, tobacco aroma, very nutty. Haven't tried that one, but that's what the other ones smell like. I uh, got some Toke Apricot, 
This stuff, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. It's apricot, no menthol. Just natural, real apricot flavor uh, and tobacco. And the, the combination of apricots and tobacco was made in some place like heaven. I don't know. It's great. Long lasting aroma. Really good stuff. Love it. Uh, then I got some toke blueberry menthol. And I wanted just a blueberry because I'm a. I love blueberries. And uh, I'm kind of iffy on the menthol snuff all the time. It's just like, alright, enough of the mint. But they only had the menthol install, uh, install in, in stock. So I got some. And it's good, you know. It's good. I don't love it. I don't hate it. Um, then I got some toke coke. You know, you got to do it. You have to. I mean, it's so crazy, it just might work. Um, and it definitely does smell like cola. And uh, it's funny because it, it actually s kind of sizzles in your nose. It's like it's, like it's um, you know, it's like uh, carbonated in your nose. It's really fascinating how they did it. But um, the only drawback to Tote Coke, and like everyone else says, man, that aroma lasts for like that long. It's like... Hello, cola. Goodbye. You know, really short-lived aroma. Um, so, you know, it's like you take a pinch, and it's already time for another pinch. It's good, though. I got a small tin of Mick Crystals Dry Orange. Um, haven't tried that one yet, but I love dry oranges. Um, and then I got the ever-popular Zui Falker. Uh, I haven't tried this one yet, but every, seems like every person that does just loves it. So I'm going to hold out for a while and pop that later. And now this brings me to my next topic, which is actually a request or a question um, to some of you more experienced and avid snuff takers slash collectors out there. Um, you know, uh, how do you guys store your tins? How do you, um, how do you, uh, uh, store your tins once they're open? I mean, you know, pipe tobacco, if it dries out, it loses a lot of its luster. It, you can rehydrate it, but it's kind of a ghost of its old self. And I see these pictures of these dudes with, like, literally thousands of tins of snuff, and people are like, you know, messaging about, oh, I've tried, you know, I've got like a hundred different snuffs open, and I'm thinking, well, does it even last that long? I don't know. I mean, that's cool if it does. But I'm purposely not opening some because I don't want them to go bad. I put them in the jar, and I lock it. Um, uh, you know, I've had some snuff for at least a year, and it, it still has all of its aroma. It hasn't gone dry. I mean, the shit's powder, dry powder when it starts. I don't know how much drier some of this stuff can get. So, if you guys have collect big collections out there, you've had snuff around for years, open snuff, any advice would be awesome. There's just this huge gap of info out there on the web about snuff, like pipes and pipe tobacco. You can cigars, you can read for year, weeks, months, and learn more and more and more and more. It's just like endless information on types of tobacco and wood and aging and how it's pressed and. Da, da 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 But then there's snuff, and it's like, hey guys, I'm sniffing snuff. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm sniffing snuff too. Cool. Um, you know, it's just not, and I know it's just a smaller community, so there's not a lot of stuff out there. But anyway, I'm looking for information. So, maybe you can post some down yar, or make a video yar. That would be cool. And uh, I'm going to do a little one more, and then shut her down. This is like my sixth time trying to make this video. I keep going over time. Ah, yes. Ah. Ladies, here I come. Ah. Peace out and sniff gently, my friends. Sniff gently. Peace.